working for the Department of Elections isn't the same as working for any other company of a similar size as this is run solely under a government budget and profits are not taken into consideration and everything is run based on whatever the state wants. Most of the time, my co-workers complete every given task to the point that we're usually left with little to do for the first month and a half seeing how things are being run here. Definitely not like when I first started in 2018 working under another contractor in the same location. This year has been shifted to respond with the pandemic. So this is what I'm here to cover and my experience working at the front lines of the 2020 elections. So here it is. This is Landrider7, aka LR7, Land here, somewhat casually walking around to some of these sites that I had to check up on, making sure that everything's in check, especially for how the pandemic had really altered the way these elections are being handled. While some people did overtime, myself included, giving me little chance to really do anything outside of working hours, as this year's elections are critical and all all necessary steps had to be taken into consideration as many people are going to vote including those that are going to vote for the first time at the scale this was taking place issues had occurred like the attached tablets are constantly disconnecting while the laptops are given issues reading some of the cards or everything in between so a lot of different incidents had happened in multiple places although I never got to witness every single one of them. However, I did witness voter fraud and that person won't be able to vote again or probably at all. And earlier, some lady with some internal defibrillator got activated when she touched one of the tablets and had to be sent to the hospital. Never knew something like that could happen. While on the west side of town, there was some kind of Trump rally taking place near one one of the tents from what I've heard in a teams meeting by my co-workers there were disputes that were also happening about something to do with who they support not sure if it's between two voters or one of the machine operators but I guess something like that had happened the first month and a half was all spent in the warehouse getting trained learning how to diagnose the machines while running out of things to do there were more people being hired by October resulting in being a little overstaffed and pretty much preparing for early voting then on election day would mark the last day that I will be working for the department despite how short-lived it was I was glad that I took the opportunity as I would probably not be able to make this video and show it to the world I'm aware that Nevada had taken quite a while to count every every single vote to give out the results on who will win the 2020 elections. After all the votes have been counted a few days after election day, it's been resulted that Joe Biden is now the president of the United States. Although the presidential race is over and we can now move on with our lives, there has been a vocal minority that says otherwise, claiming that there was voter fraud or the votes haven't been counted counted properly, even protesting in front of the workplace I was in. It's only a matter of time until that in itself gets resolved. And that should be what I can say so far about what it was like working at the 2020 elections in which I may or may not work there again. So that's that. Till then, this is LR7 moving on to other things and logging out. Checking wires, adding curtains, and putting up tablets, election workers were getting the early voting places ready for the crowd of voters expected to show up this weekend. The Cora Coleman Senior Center is one of the 48 voting locations that will be open on this Saturday.
Friday until October 3rd. <laughs>